All right, getting out. All right, um, getting out here. So yeah, uh, this is cinema here, and yeah. Hey guys, so I just got done watching Poor Things. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm late to the party in this one, but it, it took literally two months. Uh, yeah, since it's the uh, initial US release uh, for me to actually go see the film. And yeah, I gotta say about it. Yeah, I mean, it's no surprise. This movie's a masterpiece. I mean, is anyone surprised? I love the film. Yeah, I kind of figured I would love the film. And man, the movie did not disappoint me one bit. Um, yeah, this is... Yeah, this was such an experience. I mean, this is probably one of the most uh, different films. When it comes to, you know, films I saw in theaters, films like this, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever seen a film like this in the theater. So this feels like a, a new thing. Yeah, this feels like a new experience that I have never... Uh, seen before yeah um and yeah when it comes to emma stone's performance yeah people say say that you know emma stone gave the best actress performance of the year um and uh she uh you know yeah she gave the best actress performance of the year and uh I, and yeah i will admit i i did not think anyone would top uh i'm lily gladstone when it comes to the best actress nominees i saw like I, I wanted Emma Stone, no, I wanted Lily, Lily Glasson to win for the longest time. I was ready for her. But actually, now after seeing his film, I can definitely say that Emma Stone gave you know, the best performance of the year. I mean, the most Oscar worthy performance of the year. I still stand by giving the best actress win to Melissa Barrera and Scream, five, Scream 6, I mean, but when it comes to you know, the most Oscar worthy performance, I think uh, Emma Stone would take the kick, yeah. I, I, I disagree with this being her best performance. I know people say that this is Emma Stone's best performance. I don't think... I, I, I disagree. I, st I, I still think Mia from La La Land is her best performance. Like, you can't top the performance. There's no way. Uh, but, man, uh, Emma Stone also blew me away. Same thing with Mark Ruffalo um, and and uh, William Dafoe too. Yeah, literally three... Um, three um, MC Marvel uh, ca actors in one movie. Yeah, can you believe it? And William Dafoe is like basically this, uh, you know, I'm something of a scientist myself, uh, kind of type of character. And, and he even like keeps talking about himself being a scientist. Like he, it's like he's he was about to say that, say that. Um, yeah, um, the humor is great as well. Um, the humor, the comedy. Yeah, it, it, it was uh, just uh, great comedy in this film. Uh, yeah, like like I uh, was uh, like laughing. It's not as I will admit. It's not as funny as as what I was told. You know, you know, I had a I had a, a cinephile cousin who saw this movie, and he told me in a uh, in a um, film fest back in uh, November, and uh, and he told me that this is one of the funniest movies uh, of the decade. I, it wasn't as funny as I thought. Yeah, I was expecting it to be to be to this. I was expecting you know, laugh out loud comedy. It wasn't that, but it was definitely funny. I was actually laughing. But I will say, as a comedy, I was certainly entertained. Even as an, even as an art house film, I was actually entertained throughout. Yeah, this was such an entertaining movie, and this is one of my, th this is a perfect example of my kind of art house film. Yeah, this this we need more art house films like this. I swear. Uh, yeah. Um, and yeah, cinematography probably this is honestly my favorite uh, cinematography of the year. Um, Technically, it's perfect on a technical level, uh, and you know the um, the shots are gorgeous. Uh, the, the the color grading, it's so beautiful. Like at times, there were times when I when the movie felt like uh, it was directed by Wes Anderson. Yeah, can you believe it? Um, yeah, it's it's, it's that gorgeous look. Yeah, it, it is um, the most stunning film of the year. Not by VFX though, uh, but I would have loved this to get nominated for. I would have loved it if, if, if this got nominated for Best Visual Effects. Uh, yeah, screw you, Napoleon, for uh, getting nominated over four things. Even though I would have, uh, even though I still think Napoleon is pretty deep, it's solid. Uh, um, now for the million dollar question Is this in my top 10 favorite movies on 2023 list? Um, I would say that kind of, actually, I'm actually debating on that uh, because, you know, this movie's on par with uh, Past Lives. Yeah, this movie's like neck-neck with Past Lives. Yeah, this and Past Lives are 
on on the same level for me like i can't really decide uh which one uh would be a number 10 uh, yeah but either one either poor things or yeah but either poor things or um past lives would be my 10th favorite film of the year uh so i'll have to um to reflect longer in that but yeah that's all i say that's all that's everything for my first impression of uh poor things i will certainly review this film yeah and i'll let you know if this makes my top 10 uh, favorite movie of the year or not oh yeah and by the way yeah my i'm gonna i'm gonna be uh making a sharing with you guys my update on top 10 favorite movies of the year of 2023 in my community post uh because because that video while i will keep it the way it is it's kind of outdated now so yeah stay tuned for it for that community post as well as my review for poor things Bye. Okay, so yeah, anyways, yeah, that's all for my LTN reaction. Bye, guys.